Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Leilani and today's video is going to be a tutorial for beginners at eyeshadow. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I was a beginner not too long ago and most of my, all of my friends really are beginners at makeup, almost all of them. Uh, some of them aren't, but mostly all my friends are beginners at makeup and I always like whenever I can Whenever I'm like around my makeup and around them I always like sit them down and like try to do their eyeshadow and stuff and they always ask me questions And they just don't really know and I just thought well a lot of people probably don't know a lot about Makeup and like how to do their eyeshadow and things like that seeing that makeup has really like blown up you know just different influencers have become really big celebrities almost and just the makeup industry has just blown up. I figured that a lot of people kind of want to learn um, but they don't want to do like the crazy eye makeup that like Nikki Tutorials does or something like that. So I thought why not do something for more for people who just like want to do a cute eyeshadow look but don't really know how to start. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. Um, but before I do get into this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Go ahead and comment down below um, your technique. Like, what do you do for a basic eyeshadow look? How did you get started in makeup? Like, you know, your first palette, anything like that. Go ahead and comment that down below and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post every single Wednesday and every single Friday and I want to do more tutorials about this, just talking about like different specific parts of your makeup and how to do that. But I thought I'd start with eyeshadow since that is my favorite part of makeup by far easily. And um, I just, you know, thought that I could give some really cool tips. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this video. So if you're watching this, you're probably Probably new to makeup and if so um, I'm just gonna kind of explain a little bit of like my steps so that you understand like why I have my eyebrows on and everything like that so um, and like nothing else on so with eyeshadow you really want to do for me personally I do my brows and then I do my eyeshadow uh, second the reason why I do my brows first is because I carve out my brows with concealer and I don't want my eyeshadow to get ruined by the concealer that I use to carve out my brows. Also, I do my eyeshadow before I do the rest of my face because fallout. So, you know, eyeshadow is powder. When you, you know, sweep eyeshadow onto your eyes, sometimes that powder can get on the rest of your face and you don't want it to get on the rest of your base makeup because then it could ruin, it could ruin your makeup depending on how dark the eyeshadow is and everything like that, the type of fallout. Um, some eyeshadows don't have fallout, but I'm always careful and I just do my eyes first anyways. So yeah, that is why I have my brows on first and I don't have like the rest of my face on. <laughs> um, I know that's like weird terminology, but I don't have the rest of my face on because of fallout. So before you do anything, you don't wanna just put the eyeshadow on your bare eye. I don't have anything on my eyelids. Um, so what I do is I use an eyeshadow primer. This is the primer that I use. This is my go-to, like this is the only eyeshadow primer I use. This is expensive, don't get this if you don't need, like there are other eyeshadow primers that are way less expensive, trust me. Um, but I just have this anyways. Um, this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion uh, in Original, and then I also have another one uh, as a backup. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of people use concealer for their base. You're gonna see a lot of people probably on Instagram like take out a concealer and then like put concealer on their eyelids. The reason why I don't do that is because concealer creases, so your eyeshadow could literally crease. So you see the creases of your eyes, it could literally get into the creases of your eyes and it'll just look not good, trust me. So I use eyeshadow primer, it really does help. I know a lot of people don't believe in eyeshadow primer, but I do. So I just take it and I prime my eyes like so. So now my eyes are primed and it has a smooth base for the eyeshadow to now be applied. Now, I am going to be using a Morphe palette. I'm going to be using the 35M Boss Babe palette. And the reason why I chose to use a Morphe palette is because Morphe is really beginner friendly. And the reason why I chose this specific palette is because one, it's new to me, so I really wanna get some use out of it. And two, it has 
these neutral shades but it also has some pops of color so if you're new to makeup i would suggest getting a palette like this it's pretty inexpensive um it's like 24 dollars, which is really inexpensive for this amount of shadows and you can really just play with the neutral browns in here the reds in here can kind of give you a little color if you want color and then you can also play with like these oranges these greens these purples you know it has a lot of uh cool shades um so this could be an everyday palette or this could be a palette where you really you know practice your makeup so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and just focus on doing a neutral look with these browns um you know a lot of people buy all neutral palettes if you're into like just browns and you don't want like crazy like blue eyeshadow on all the time or something like that you could buy like a, a neutral palette you could buy a, a colorful palette like this uh, you really want to cater to the type of look that you want to do especially like if you want to wear makeup to work or to school or anything like that you really want to take that in cons into consideration when uh buying a palette so just to keep that in mind. So now for the actual eyeshadow application. The first eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is this shade right here and it's called Peachy Keen. Now I'm going to be taking Peachy Keen and I'm going to take it on this really fluffy big brush and you want to use different brushes for different things. So if you really want to start like doing your eyeshadow, you might want to get like honestly three brushes and they can be pretty inexpensive, especially if you get like wet and wild brushes, they can be really inexpensive. So I would get like three different brushes and I'm gonna show you which brushes those are. But the first one would be this fluffy brush called a blending brush. And I'm going to take that shade and I'm just going to sweep it on basically the top of my eyeshadow in arch motions like that, in sort of an arch. So as you can see, there's already some nice pigment there and you're just sweeping it like so. And you want it to be evenly distributed. So I'm gonna take a little more of that. Also, when you take it on your brush, you want to tap off any excess. So any of that fallout, you wanna tap that off so you can just get some good product on there. Also, as you can see, I haven't put it on the whole lid. I've only put it on the top part. So there's this thing called the crease of your eyeshadow. As you can see, when I open my eyes, you can see the definition of my crease, right? So I'm putting this on the top part of my lid above the crease that my eye naturally makes. So whatever crease your eye naturally makes, you want to probably put a shade kind of like a, a nice neutral brown or a nice neutral pink something that's not too colorful at least you know if you want to do like a basic look something that's not too colorful up on the top usually I go for some type of brown like this so here is what that first shade is looking like on and now I'm going to go in with my second shade and I'm going to take this shade I think called sparks fly and I'm going to take it on this fluffy brush, but kind of tinier brush, tapping off the excess. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to deepen up the crease. So I'm going to basically give some definition to the crease of my eyes. So like I said, the crease right here, I'm going to give it some definition by giving it a darker uh, brown. So I'm gonna start off on the outer corner of my eye like so as you can see I'm starting off on the outer corner and then I'm just going to sweep it and follow the natural curve of my eye or the natural crease of my eye so whatever that natural crease is you kind of want to follow that so as you can see now that shade is on and my eyes now have, the, the crease of my eye has a little more definition, or a lot more definition, honestly. Now that that is in the crease of my eye, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to blend it out. So you hear a lot about blending, probably. What you wanna do is, you don't want this color right here 
and this color right here to have this sharp line to where it looks like you just you, you don't want it to have that you want it to be blended out and into one another you don't want any harsh lines so you just kind of blend it really just sweeping your brush onto the edges of where these two shades meet so that they're blended out nicely and now for the other eye also side note so I'm using certain shades so we have what we call mattes shimmers glitters and things like that pretty much I just differentiate I call some mattes and some shimmers some eyeshadows mattes and some eyeshadow shimmers as you can see these two shades that I've used thus far are matte shades um, so the glittery ones are what we call shimmers mattes are just normal you know like these they don't have any shimmer in them usually people use mattes in the crease because shimmers can be harder to blend out and everything like that and mattes are way easier to blend out and can be more pigmented mattes can just be better in general for the crease of your eyes but honestly the good thing about makeup is that you can really do whatever you want with it and people have been revolutionizing makeup for a long time. People thought that you can do this with makeup and then other people were like, no, you can't. What I would say is if you want to put a, if you want to put a shimmer in the crease, do it because whatever makes you feel beautiful is what I feel like you should do. However, there are just kind of like more practical reasons for why people do it this way, if you get what I'm saying. So that second shade is on. Now you can see kind of the vision is going to do more of a brownish neutral look and you see how it's pretty blended yeah blend is the best people literally makeup takes a long time because of blending <laughs> trust me so the last shade that i'm going to be using is this shade right here and it's called sheen stealer and it's this beautiful Really cool. It looks kind of like the combination of these two shades, just really shimmery. And I'm going to take it on a flat brush. This brush is from e.l.f. Really inexpensive. Um, and what I usually do with shimmers and what most people usually do with shimmers is they put it on their, the basic lid of their eye, so under their crease. So I'm just going to show you kind of how I apply this. For shimmer shades, we use flat brushes because pretty much shimmer shades are hard to get a lot of pigment out of so you want to use a flat brush you can really like you'll see what I do when I do it I'm I suck at explaining things I don't know why I decided to do a tutorial so as you can see I'm just laying this shade down and instead of like applying it with the circular motions and really blending it out the way that I did with the other matte shades. With this shade, I really want it to be super pigmented because it's basically the main shade since it's on the lid and that is gonna be like the eye catcher um, of the eye. It's gonna be the eye catcher. So you really just want to lay it down. And what I do with my shimmer shades is I take my brush and I do like this basically I trace my crease and put the shimmer like so tracing my crease so I'm just carving it out and placing it right under that crease so that is what that shimmer shade is looking like Move down. That is what that shimmer shade is looking like on top. So that is what that shimmer shade is looking like on. It's really, really pretty. I love this. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with this shade right here, this dark brown shade on the same brush that I used to apply it earlier. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of the shimmer shade really quickly. So you just want to blend out the edges, make sure that they're seamless, that they blend together. Blend out that crease. Because when tracing the crease, you might get some, some shimmer shade where you really don't want it to be. So it's kind of like erasing it a little bit. 
All right, so here is what the eyeshadow look is looking like thus far. Now, here is where I kind of get weird. So what I do now is I finish off. So I do my primer, foundation, concealer, and I bake. And then what I do is I dust off my bake and I come back because I do some more with my under eyes and my inner corner. And it's just easier for me to do it this way because if I did it, if I did the under eye um, eyeshadow and the inner corner eyeshadow, my foundation and my concealer would then basically erase it. So doing it afterwards would just make sense anyways. So with that being said, I'm gonna come right back. I'll be right back and I'll look very different. And then we will finish off this eyeshadow look and then that will pretty much be it for this tutorial. So I will be right back. All right, so I am back and I am going to do a little bit more with this eyeshadow look. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add some eyeliner and I'm not going to do a wing. Um, wings, I'm not the best at wings. And to be honest, I don't think that you need a wing to like, I, I just don't personally. I know that a lot of other people really like to do winged eyeliner. I'm not really, I think winged eyeliner is cute, but I don't think you need to do it all the time. Like I really don't, but I like doing eyeliner just to define my lashes and make my lashes look a little more full. So I just do a really thin line right where my lashes are just to make my lashes look more full. Stop right there at the so you can see a big difference between this eye and this eye. This eye looks like the lashes are just more full. Also, for eyeliner, I would suggest a, a, a pen, a felt tip like this, just because it's so easy to just draw it on. Boom, it just looks a lot more full and nice to me. I really just like how eyeliner looks just like this, I think it looks really nice. So next what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the flat brush that I used for my shimmer shade and I'm just going to basically clean it off and use it for another shadow. So I'm going to take this shade, the first shade that we used, and I'm going to take it on the top part of the brush like so. I'm gonna tap off that excess and I'm just going to go under the eye. The reason why I'm going under the eye like this is because it just makes the eye, to me, it makes the eye look, I don't know, just more connected. I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> There's something about how this eye looks a little more full and then this eye, you know what I'm saying? Do you guys see it? This eye versus this eye, why we put shadow under the eye? I don't know. So we are almost finished. And now, the one thing that I learned from Jackie Ina is that you always need to have an inner corner highlight. Inner corner highlights are just in the inner corner of your eye. It's usually a really light shade. Um, I usually use a really light shimmer shade just because I like how really light shimmer shades look in the inner corner. I think it looks really pretty and sparkly and just cute, um, but pretty much an inner corner basically just wakes your eyes up. It makes you look, look a lot more awake. With that same flat brush, I'm gonna take this shade right here called Light of the Party and I'm just going to take it and put it in the inner corner of my eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it like so. You see the difference between this eye and this eye, what an inner corner does. I just really think that inner corners are beautiful. And you know, a lot of people, um, they like, you know, they can't leave the house without winged liner. For me, if I was to do anything with my eyes, as far as makeup wise, I would just put on an inner corner and that's how I would leave. You could use your highlight as an inner corner and make it really cute. Also, um, a side note, I you could do a brow bone highlight. Let me just show you a brow bone highlight. People usually do these where you just take the same shimmer shade that you use in your inner corner and highlight your brow bone. I usually don't really do this just because I don't know, I just, I don't know but I'm doing it for the sake of showing you for this tutorial. So yeah, you can just put 
some shadow right there and it kind of defines the arch of your brow a little more i think i'm pretty sure that's what it does <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and finish off this look with some mascara and i'm going to be using this mac mascara um i love this mascara especially because the wand the wand is very thin so it can really get through your lashes and not make them super clumpy and then so you obviously you can see the difference between my eyes like with mascara and then I also go on the bottom lashes. The bottom lashes, I think, bottom lash mascara really just opens the eyes. It makes the eyes look really like nice and open and wide and beautiful. So here are what the eyes are looking like. This is the final product. That's pretty much it for the tutorial. I really just wanted to show you how you can do a look like this very simply you know I know a lot of people are like one one step eyeshadow and then they just put like a brown in the crease it's like you're not really showing people how to get kind of more a full full look um so I really wanted to do that uh but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'll come back for kind of like a final closing ending thing and then I'll be done so yeah I will be right back so here is the finished look. I decided to go with a red lip just because I felt like the eyes and the lips match and are really cute together and yeah this is the finished look. So I hope that this eyeshadow tutorial was really helpful for you you know especially if you're just starting out in makeup and you don't really know how to you know start doing looks like this. I hope that this really helped you out. I think that this look especially is really good for like you know, if you want to go out and like do something cute or something like that, I think that this eyeshadow look is really good for that. Even if you like for special occasions, I think this is a really nice look for that. So especially if you want to, um, you know, start doing your makeup for special occasions, this might be the tutorial for you. So I hope that it helped you a lot with, uh, you know, just learning how to do your eyeshadow but yeah that is pretty much it for me thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up go ahead and comment down below if this helped you at all um you know just anything like that anything that you got out of this video go ahead and comment that down below and go ahead and subscribe to my channel i post every single wednesday and every single friday so that is it for me thank you again so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye